Welcome once again, friends, as we enter this new month of October together and hopefully get a little relief from the heat that has been so much a part of September's time. We gather this week in a new month praying for relief from a number of things, and that can, if we allow it, strain our faith. So tonight we look at two passages together. The first from the book of Lamentations, a book not often read from because it has the reputation for being, well, frankly, a bit of a downer. To lament, Webster says, is to utter a passionate expression of grief or sorrow. And we can, especially under the current circumstances, find ourselves lamenting our current condition. Faith is required, and it is faith that sustains us. And we need to be reminded of how God has been and is present even in these lamentable times. Last week, we looked at two passages that did and offered the same sort of sustaining and resiliency to us as we are reminded of God's presence. Then tonight from Luke's gospel, we'll read a story of the disciples asking to have their faith increased and being told that doing the work asked of us is what increases our faith. And so, once again, I invite you to put aside all those things that might be distracting and take a moment to be still and silent as we enter together this time of worship. So then, from the third chapter of the Book of Lamentations, be, it begins with an acknowledgement of where the writer is, and then he goes into a reminder to himself or herself of what is truth. The thought of my affliction and my homelessness is wormwood and gall. My soul continually thinks of it and is bowed down within me. But this I call to mind, and therefore, I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in God. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul that seeks him. It is good that one should wait quietly upon the salvation of the Lord. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God.
Then we hear these words from the 17th chapter of Luke's Gospel. The apostles came up and said, Master, give us more faith. But the master said, you don't need more faith. There is no more or less faith. If you have a bare kernel of faith, say the size of a poppy seed, you could say to this sycamore tree, go and plant yourself in the lake and it would do it. Suppose one of you has a servant who comes in from plowing the field and tending the sheep. Would you take his coat, set the table and say, sit down and eat? Wouldn't you be more likely to say, prepare dinner, change your clothes, wait table for me. And when I've finished my supper and my drink, then go to the kitchen and have your supper. Does the servant get special thanks for doing what is expected of him? It's the same with you. When you've done everything expected of you, be matter of fact and say, the work is done. What we were told to do, we have done. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Let us join our hearts and our minds together in a time of prayer. Loving God, it is good for us who wait on you that our soul seeks you to wait quietly upon your salvation. Great is your faithfulness, loving God, and your mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. So each morning, gracious God, as we greet the day, may we be reminded that your mercies never cease, and that by being faithful to the task before us, we increase our faith and we sustain ourselves across a time of trial. Be with each of us, and therein we will find our hope. Gracious God, we continue to pray for all the afflicted, for all who mourn, for all who struggle with the fires that rage across our nation and our state. We pray for the upcoming election and for a time when we select leadership, that it might be a time of restoration and a reminder of the hope of our democracy. We pray, gracious God, for all who are in need of your presence and sustaining presence. We pray, loving God, this day for all who seek a cure. We continue to lift them to you. May we be steadfast. May we walk humbly with you. May we be in service now and always. Through Christ we pray. Amen. Friends, go in peace. Walk humbly with God. Do good work. And until we meet again, may God be with you and sustain you and give you peace.
Amen. Nominus Papistum, Esmus Spiritus,